Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, shit. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, shoot. Uh oh, why this thing freezing up? I got my teeth clean yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Y'all can't see out here. Hold on. Let me put this down. Because I'm not. It's fancy enough for me out here on this water. So I'll be out there on the water in a minute. So let me get back on up in here. Now I'm going to leave that door open. I can hear that breeze. Hold off some of that sun. I ain't gonna be on camera too long this morning. It's chopping. Uh, I don't know why I'm on the hotel. No, I'm on my Wi-Fi. Hold on, let me put on the Western Wi-Fi. All right, I think we back. I think it switched over. I said this going to be a real quick live session. All right, well, then you don't got to be a part of it. So put your nose in the corners. That way you ain't got to worry about being a part of no live. Is it is it good now? What about now? I just replaced, I just changed the Wi-Fi. Yes, you're back. Okay. Let me put some music on. Let me put this fair use sign up. Um, we're going to play some Tucker Carson. Um, as we know here in America, as we feel here in America, that a lot of information is being withheld from the citizens and it's not being released till it's pretty much too late that you could do something about it. Um, but a lot of our our news and our things that we hear is not being lied to us it's just being a lot of stuff being left out let's say it like that uh 40 000 hours of video if you're trying to get the full scope of what happened how in the world do you miss 40 000 hours allegedly of videotape that can give you the full scope of whatever happened on january 6th KB is sad you got to parent grown folks. Yeah, you ain't got no choice. <laughs> but uh I'm in better shape though. See, they they hating because I'm I'm trimming on up. So I'm gonna just let them hate, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and trim on up. And, and, and yeah, 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 yeah. Yesterday was beautiful. I got a massage. I got a uh I went to stretch zone. I went got my teeth clean. What else am I gonna do today? I don't know. I'm gonna let the day. I'm going to let the day take me because, you know, my birthday tomorrow or my birthday tonight at 12 o'clock, people got big plans for me. Uh, my son's supposed to be coming down. So uh, I'm just going to see. I mean, I'm excited. Just going to see what 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 the day bring and what tomorrow bring. But it's my birthday month, so I'm going to be celebrating with friends and family all month long. I'm like them uh, beautiful, strong women. I, I think they do it right. They celebrate for a whole month. Uh, with all the stress I go through, I'm going to get a whole month, too. I'm going to take my money. 
<laughs> so you can either go celebrate with me or I'm going to celebrate without you. And I ain't going to lie, after 12 o'clock, this, this is going to be me right here, y'all, after 12 o'clock. No, nah, I ain't going to show that dude stuff on my page. Uh -uh. I just wanted to show that one part. But listen, let's get into this because I'm going to toggle over to my other channel right after this and go live. Yeah, because I got a little got a little stuff to talk about but um month even better oh yeah 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 yeah. it's really like three weeks i don't start it to like the 9th 10th i don't really start it to have 12 o'clock on the 10th so from the 10th on you know pretty much my birthday <laughs> so yeah but uh ad said tell yeah it's my birthday month dog i'm trying to tell you i'm gonna have two bottles but for right now we still on that water. Yeah, we still on that water. He cherry picking, but showing records before what they were shown, what they showed, and immediately after. That's crazy uh i don't think he's cherry picking he's showing video we already seen the other video we shit we don't seen the other video thirty thousand times what else we need we seen people breaking up stuff but this is why you don't go with groups nowhere this is why i rarely ever go with the group because they had a permit to be there so you get a permit to be there all of us go together as a group uh all of us go together as a group then if we got a hundred of us and 20 of you decide to break off and do your own thing and do whatever you want to do then they're going to judge all 100 of us off what 20 people did so if you got a group of 50,000 100,000 and then you got a group of 5,000 people that break it up causing chaos the whole group is going to look like they're causing chaos even though some people could be just chilling some people could be older some people could just be holding the american flag you know it's it's a you know it's a patriotic thing to protest but to do it peacefully it's not a patriotic thing to be amongst the crowd throwing rocks at police officers which seems to happen every time we have a a, a protest but it seems like to me one side is judged and scrutinized more than the other side the other side can have police cars on fire it can have uh and when i say other side that's because they always talk about right and left and I don't give nothing about no side. I just watch the behavior. And if you watch the behaviors of uh, each side, both sides have people on each side of the aisle that does stupid things. Both. And if you argue that point, uh, you just something something is seriously off about your mind. I don't care no Republican, Democrat, nothing. On either side, there's some bad people in each group. And they go out here and they do certain things to make the whole group look bad. But one side covers up everything that that person does. Cars on fire, buildings burning down. Oh, it was a mostly peaceful protest. And then when you watch January 6th, that was disturbing too. People breaking through windows, people jumping through doors. You're not supposed to do that. That's not good. So they called it out. They did hearings about it over and over and over again. They didn't sweep it under the rug and say it was mostly peaceful. They showed you break it, them breaking windows over and over again every day. And people went to prison. And if they did what they did, rightfully so. You're supposed to go to jail on both sides, though. And what's happening is justice is not becoming about, it's not about justice no more, in my opinion. It's about uh, who we like. It's about what group you're a part of. Because the same behaviors get you different results. Don't believe me? Let's play it. And this is why I personally won't join a specific group. This is why I stay independent because I'm able to now call out anybody's behavior because of the fact of I'm independent. I can clearly see, yes, you did this. Now, I've seen some of y'all doing this. I've seen some of y'all doing this. You're both wrong. I ain't, it ain't no, this side is the greatest side. No. It's people throwing rocks and hitting reporters in the face, knocking them out from Antifa. It's people got dang on shooting people in these safe zones. So, no, this is not peace and tranquility. And no, you wouldn't be want to be around a large group of these people. 
these people will hurt you so let's get into the video from tucker carson because why was this the fact that it was withheld from the public is the problem to me why are you withholding information from the public to me that shouldn't be allowed all the information is the freedom of the press all information just like they can go look up public stuff about any other youtuber or anybody else this stuff should not be redacted it should not be hidden it should not be out of plain sight for anyone who wants to view it it should not be released 26 months later to where now we have to go back and say oh okay 26 months ago this happened and so for those of you that can't call things down the middle i understand why um you know if you have a son or a daughter and they have the same behaviors as somebody else and it's unbecoming of a young man or a young woman you know you might want to say oh not my baby not my boy not my daughter but no you gotta you gotta call out that behavior in order to correct it. happy early birthday dude appreciate it guy appreciate it greedy cookies but yeah man you gotta you gotta you gotta call things out because it's the right thing to do not because it makes your group look good we don't have people doing what's right really no more because doing what's right is going to put you on the wrong side of the group um and, and that's the sad reality of what's going on so let's check it out not your damn business what's up bro but let's check this out uh, fair use fair use this is for educational purposes i'm gonna give my reaction under section 107 let's get it they're familiar because they've been playing on a loop on every media outlet in America for the last two years. There's a reason for that. But it turns out there's quite a bit of video you haven't seen. And that video tells a very different story about what happened on January 6th. More than 40,000 hours of surveillance footage from in and around the Capitol have been withheld from the public. And once you see the video, you'll understand why. Taken as a whole. And we got to stop it because we got to give commentary. But 40,000 hours. I'm going to slow it down a little bit because Tucker talked fast already but forty thousand hours why would anybody in their right mind think that you have all the information if forty thousand hours of something is missing how in the world can you make an educated decision on what you see if forty thousand hours is missing how why would they think that's okay to have forty thousand hours missing of anything and this thing is a little bit dark when i'm not uh hold on let me play this The video record does not support the claim that January 6th was an insurrection. In fact, it demolishes that claim. And that's exactly why the Democratic Party and its allies in the media prevented you from seeing it. By controlling the images you were allowed to view from January 6th, they controlled how the public understood that day. They could lie about what happened, and you would never know the difference. Those lies had a purpose. They created a pretext for a federal crackdown on opponents of the Uniparty in Washington. Our office wants to ensure that there was shock and awe that we could charge as many people as possible the first thing you notice from viewing the full video now see when you see this when you see people just storming through a capitol building that's supposed to be secure that's supposed to be one of the secure buildings you get a little nervous when you read a report and especially and you see all these white people you say oh my god white people in MAGA had stormed the capitol building you immediately trump is the problem but this guy is jumping right through the window you ain't never seen nothing like this outside of a movie. Uh, I think I seen this on Olympics Has Fallen, or one of them doggone uh, presidential movies. Yeah, somebody say it's all a game. That's like 54 months, isn't it? <laughs> Man, you, you cannot, as a as a American citizen who likes fair and honesty, you cannot feel like somebody's getting a fair shake imagine you going to trial and somebody say nope we're going to withhold uh 40 000 pages of the information that you brought here or we're going to hold every page that make it look like the majority of you guys were peaceful and it's we're going to hold pages that make it look like we help you because watch in the video you're going to see that the guy that they had the little horns on his head and they may seem like the worst guy in the world 
he's a, a naval officer he's a retired navy guy and the police was walking right with him so how in the world did this guy is so bad if you're gonna it's like nine cops around this guy in one of these videos why didn't they choke this guy out and take him out of the room now watch this video record of january 6th is just how many people entered the capitol building that day hundreds and hundreds of people possibly thousands over the course of about two hours the crowd was enormous a small percentage of them were hooligans they committed vandalism you've seen their picture and you see what tucker did not do tucker didn't say this was just a peaceful thing no no, no. a per small percentage of them were hooligans called them out right away a small percentage of this group look how large this group is by the way look how large of a crowd that is all of these people didn't get into <laughs> the building all of these people didn't get into the capitol building it was a small percentage of people some of the people who got in the capitol building acted violently other people that got in the capitol building did not so watch this look at all those people and look at some of these people are hitting the window breaking down the door which is wrong it's flat out wrong ain't nobody going to try to deny that this is wrong this is not peaceful at this point is wrong cars burning busting in the police station all that the other side do is wrong you got to call it out down the middle pictures again and again but the overwhelming majority weren't they were peaceful they were orderly and meek these were not insurrectionists they were sightseers Vandalism. You've seen their pictures again and again. But the overwhelming majority weren't. They were pe peaceful. They were ordered. A big fella right here look like he just want a beer after this old one. <laughs> he don't look like he trying to bother nobody. He look like he just want a beer. He look like as soon as this over with, wait a cold beer. There's nobody else in there with them. They're just looking at stuff looking at artifact or whatever they're looking at they're not tearing up nothing they ain't out there fighting they just looking at something so so far tucker's been right about looking at this video some people are hooligans some people looking at stuff orderly and meek these were not insurrectionists they were sightseers footage from inside the capitol overturns the story you've heard about january 6th protesters queue up in neat little lines they give each other tours outside the speaker's office. They take cheerful selfies and they smile. They're not destroying the Capitol. Now, what would have been so bad about showing this part of it? What would have been so bad about... All right, hold on. Let me show you something. Boy. Get up out of here. Get you up out of here. Anyway, uh, what would be so bad about showing this part of it? People with cameras just walking in with pictures what would be so bad showing this part to to show that hey anytime you gather in these large groups regardless of whether you get a permit or not these people got a permit to be here so it wasn't like this whole they ran down there and they just stormed the building they were given a permit to be there so hold on no rico kb I don't know what you mean. I, I damn sure don't want no Rico. <laughs> was they supposed to be in there? Um, they definitely wasn't supposed to break in that door. Uh, on, on that day, I guess they were stopping them from going in there. So I'm sure they were okay to stay outside on that day. Um, am I certain that they were supposed to be inside? No, I don't know if they were supposed to be inside or not. I don't know if because of the large crowd, they told them you can't go in there. But... Uh, yeah so i i don't want to speak out of turn on that but this this is an open building on a normal day each and every last one of us before all of this happened you can go into the the capitol building take pictures show your kids whatever it's a building that's for us this is for the american people this is not a locked building that we all are not supposed to be in it's just like a library it's a public building that we all are supposed to be able to access 
but because of the way they painted this picture uh i guarantee you they have rules now that we can't just go in that building and when we cut off access to the people uh now good people are not going to be able to to go in there and do the right thing because of they use incidents like this to levy more laws why are the democrats protecting ray epps so much he investigated it he instigated it oh i don't know where who is ray epps well, i have to look that up brother i appreciate the super chat i have to look up ray epps yeah somebody said it's our building yeah yeah it's the it's the public's building so it's not like but like i said i'm not certain because of the large crowd that gathered did they come up with some immediate rule to say you can't come in the building uh because they have permits to be here so i don't understand i really don't get it and so that's why some of the people may have gotten upset because they're going to think like this brother this is our building how can we trust into our own building and that's going to enrage some people and then some people do the conspiracy thing which i don't know so i'm not saying it for me those people think that a lot of these people that were causing the problems were fbi agents and things like that so they're just in the crowd inciting the problem and once you incite the problem you can levy more room uh ray epps is mike epps older brother ray epps is an informant oh wow oh wow yeah but ears listen ears you got to learn one thing about plausible deniability uh there's a lot of very smart people in the world that are very good at plausible deniability when they want to make it look like something it's, if you've seen hollywood movies where they can make it look like people are killing people on screen you don't think they can make something of this magnitude uh look like something as well while they know that they gave a permit to these people to come there you don't think that they can just hold a session or cause an immediate session so that these people can't come in there knowing these people are charged up after an election that they feel like they were robbed upon a lot of these people feel like the election was a stolen election so you already have people hypercharged and you're going to call some session while these people are coming to get you to answer questions like i don't think that's the appropriate timing for that if you're not afraid of the people this is the time that you address the people if you didn't do anything wrong address the people they i mean that's what they're going to say is of course they're going to say that if i'm going to do something wrong you think i'm going to say yeah i did something wrong that's not that's not what's going to happen that's not real world these people make it look good and all i'm saying is no no one's calling it down the middle when it comes to a violent stance i don't think you're supposed to break through the building if they if they made this rule you figure out another way around it 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 would have pissed me off that you gave me a permit to be someplace it would piss me off that it, it seems like you're trying to just avoid talking to me that would piss me off if if i voted and now i'm trying to talk to you that would piss me off that you won't even give me the a, a, a conversation in the united states of america they start to sound like something else but let's keep it moving ears i would like to know your take on why did they even redact or hold back forty thousand hours of footage in the first place why in the world would they do that the fact that the dems want tucker silence should tell you a lot regardless of what side you're on we should want the whole truth and no matter what absolutely and that's my point you lose me when you start hiding stuff and then say well you start giving excuses well it's because we were doing this it's because we we're doing that well why did you hide forty thousand hours of tape you lost me at this point no no no. you don't hide forty thousand hours of tape a black man who did not attend but was a part of the group communication was criminally prosecuted oh wow But no, the very fact that you're hiding this much information is a red flag for me. They obviously revere the Capitol. They're there because they believe the election was stolen from them. They believe in the system. Here's the man you've heard referred to as the QAnon shaman outside the Senate chamber. These are not rioters. These are people who wandered over from a political rally. We will not let them silence your voices. 
After the rally, they walked down Pennsylvania Avenue, where organizers had secured a federal permit to hold a legal rally on the grounds of the Capitol. They walked down Pennsylvania Avenue, where organizers had secured a federal permit to hold a legal rally on the grounds of the Capitol. Okay, so there you have it. They weren't supposed to be in the building. They were supposed to be on the grounds of the Capitol. So that that may you might have to drop the link later uh, if you have time. Okay, but yeah, that that's uh that's a uh here's what are you saying it was scheduled because of trump clan i wouldn't call united states citizens a clan is if you're going to be fair and impartial just say because of the people who supported trump you don't want to start getting into the name calling because then everybody's going to call people names uh, a lot of libs in here bro you talking to a wall yeah it sounds like it um, but I don't matter. That wall is a very weak wall made with sheet rock because you should be able to have a conversation without all the hoopla. When you hide 40,000 hours of something, I don't believe shit you say after that. If you're on the up and up, you don't hide nothing. How would you like it if you're doing business with somebody and you have the operation minutes where y'all done talk for, y'all done been talking for the entire year and y'all been having meetings for the entire year and your business partner with that or take away 40 percent of the information are you going to trust this guy as a business partner after that hell no you're not going to trust that i wouldn't i'm not doing business with somebody that's going to hide things from me transparency is the first step to trust transparency is the first step to trust once you're not transparent now i have to question everything you say and that's just common sense. It don't matter whether I like you or not. I don't like none of them. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I'm saying transparency is the key. You're in a relationship with a woman. She tell you she going over here, she going over there. You found out she done been to nine other different places and didn't tell you. You're not going to trust her after that. Same thing, vice versa with a guy. A guy tell you, I'm going X, Y, and Z. You find out he went to six different strip clubs. He been to old girl house. Oh, that's just my friend. You're not going to trust that person after that. So forget all the hoopla and semantics. Why are you hiding things? You should not be hiding things from American citizens if you're on the up and up. Just me. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices okay, heard. Fine. Once at the Capitol building, things began to get chaotic. Capitol police officers fired tear gas into the crowd. A few at the front of the herd broke windows. Someone opened the doors and many hundreds of others just walked in. Make that story. Of course, they did make it the story. And at the center of it, the single most famous person arrested that day was a Navy veteran from Arizona called Jacob Chansley, often referred to. In. Make that story. Of course, they did make it the story. And at the center of it, the single most famous person arrested that day was a Navy. Now, when they first showed this dude, I saw him in all that war paint in the hat. I said, oh, this dude is a psychopath. I said, this is old hillbilly, white boy, hills have eyes, white boy, who a psychopath, lock him up. But then wait a minute, this is one of y'all boys. Y'all trained this boy. He was trained by the United States Navy. He got four years in prison. And up until now, I was like, Hell yeah, he deserved four years in prison. The way they made him uh, look and sound. Transparency is key to being an honest government. Transparency is key to being an honest anything. To be an honest husband, you have to be transparent with your wife. No, I'm not. Uh, I, I'm not cheating on you, baby. I'm not out here trying to be a womanizer no more. You got to be transparent. And if you want to do that, the best way to do it is be transparent. Otherwise, you're going to run into a lot of problems but this guy is one of them they made this guy seem like uh, just because he had war paint in a viking hat i thought he was just a hills have eyes white boy riding dirt bikes and just found his way up to washington but he's a navy guy and watch how they treat this navy guy when he's in the actual building they said all these things about this guy now watch the way he was treated veteran from Arizona called Jacob Chansley, often referred to as the QAnon shaman. So-called QAnon shaman. QAnon shaman. Someone named Q shaman. Jacob Chansley became the face of... Let's see how many uh, news stations they said the same thing on. 
remember way back that when when i said they pushing the agenda they say the same thing over and over again on multiple different news stations so you had this they're gonna run the gamut with the same news station cnn the other one the other one the other one. you'll see they're gonna have him the the the, the, the chobbing the chomping the chomping they're all saying the same thing this man has a name he has a navy record he has a real name he has a real navy background instead of them using that name they called him a chobbing or something crazy yeah i thought he wanted him he'll have he'll have eyes white boy adrian <laughs> yeah look at him he looked like one of them crazy ass boys you don't want to fuck with look at him he probably a bad motherfucker. he went to the navy but dressed up like this he looked like one of them he'll have eyes white boy you don't want to run into late at night fuck that you got a couple German Shepherds, a couple shotguns, AKs, ARs, I meant, a couple homeboys with pickup trucks. Yeah, that would be a long day for you. That's what it looked like. <laughs> Salute to you, bro. But instead of him being a hills have eyes white boy, he's a Navy guy. They, they kind of left that out. But watch the treatment of this guy. Hold on. Day was a Navy veteran from Arizona called Jacob Chansley, often referred to as the QAnon Shaman. The so-called QAnon Shaman. QAnon Shaman. Someone named Q Shaman. Jacob Chansley became the face of January 6th, a dangerous conspiracy theorist dressed in outlandish costume who led the violent insurrection to overthrow American democracy. For these crimes, Chansley was sentenced to nearly four years in prison, far more time than many violent criminals now receive. This man got four years in prison. <laughs> This man got four years in prison. Now, we haven't gotten to the video where he's just walking through. I appreciate the super chat. We haven't got to the video where this man was just walking through. Now, here it is. We got rappers that have had shootouts in the middle of the street. I'm not going to name the rappers because we, we you can look it up yourself. But we got rappers that had shootouts in the middle of the street, done shot other black folk, and they not in jail. This man was walking through a goddamn building with the police, and he is in jail for four years. Watch this. Something ain't right. How damn do you say something, something, something just ain't right? Something ain't right. What did Jacob Chansley do to receive this punishment? To this day, there is dispute over how Chansley got into the Capitol building. But according to our review of the internal surveillance video, it is very clear what happened once he got inside. Virtually every moment of his time inside the Capitol. That's him right there. Why are these cops not tackling him and whipping him right now? If this guy is all this what they say he is, why they ain't beating the brake shoes off him right now? It's two against one. He got an American flag stick. He must be a bad boy. He got an American flag. He got a bullhorn. He got a hat. And it's two against one. Okay. They not ready yet. They nervous. Okay. Let's just say... The cops don't feel like they can overpower him right now. I got it. Hold on, hold on. Let's wait. Let's see. Let's see if they ever get ready to overpower him. Hold on. Capitol was caught on tape. The tape show the Capitol Police never stopped Jacob Chansley. They helped him. They acted as his tour guides. Here's video of. Now, if this man was so bad, would you turn your back to this man? Would you turn your back and check a door to open it for the guy that every news station is making sound like the worst dude in the world? He is being helped and assisted. They're checking doors. This is a man, a police officer in uniform, checking the door, turning his back to the guy who supposedly started all this, a dangerous man. This don't make no sense to me. I'm not turning my back to somebody who I think is this dangerous. But let's keep going. This is the, the charming killer or whatever they called him. This is supposed to be a dangerous guy. But look at how he's getting treated in the building. Of Chansley in the Senate chamber. Capitol Police officers take him to multiple entrances and even try to open locked doors for him. We counted at least nine. Now, when I've seen him walking up here, Around these nine cops, I said, ooh, ooh, they gonna beat them now. They got riot gear cops, they ready. If he try to jab them with that dog on you, uh, that flag, they'll be able to, uh, and they got riot gear helmets. I say, boy, when he walk past these nine cops, the one in the, the one in front of them gonna turn around and swing on them, the one behind them gonna tackle them, and they all gonna pounce on them. They got them now. Yeah, they got them. 
I said, they got this joker now. But watch what happened. This is a dangerous man now. Allegedly, that's what they say. In officers who were within touching distance of unarmed Jacob Chansley. Not one of them even tried to slow him down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know I didn't just see him just walk right past them. I know, I know he didn't just walk right past nine, eight, ten cops. Not this dangerous booger. Did, did he just walk past about nine, ten cops? Him? And then a little old white lady got shot in the head and killed, allegedly, or I don't know where she got shot at, but a woman got shot. And this is the dangerous guy, and he's being walked past nine cops. Hold on, let me see this again. Boy, I don't understand what the hell is going on. Somebody smarter than me can tell, but it looked like they checked the door right here. And they assisted this dude through, and it looked like something didn't go the way they planned it, so they said, you got to take the fall. Here's video of Chansley in the Senate chamber. Capitol Police officers take him to multiple entrances and even try to open locked doors for him. We counted at least nine officers who were within touching distance of unarmed Jacob Chansley. Not one of them even tried to slow him down. Chansley understood that Capitol Police were his allies. Video shows him giving thanks for them in a prayer on the floor of the Senate. Watch. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for getting the inspiration needed to these police officers to allow us into the building. Contrast. Wow. <laughs> they stood there. And let the guy take off his hat, get on the loudspeaker, and thank them for allowing them in the building. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, fuck Tucker. We don't like Tucker. He did it. <laughs> hey, people do not like truth no more, boy. The truth can slap them right in the face. They do not care. And this is why we got to have robots in the jury pool. Americans are now either too dumb or too emotional, too sensitive, too tied to groups, too scared of their baby mama or their girlfriend to have their own opinion. We have to now put robots in the jury box. We're going to have to now put robots in Congress. We're going to have to put somebody in there that'll take out emotion and just follow the letter of the law. This is getting ridiculous. This is getting out of control that people can see video and still allow injustice because based off of who they like, based off of what group they identify with. That's, that's sad to me. This is terrible. And it gets this is going to destroy America, in my opinion. This group think this. I don't like Tucker because he's a guy I don't like. So a broken clock is right two times a day. So are you saying that you're that fragile just because you don't like a person, regardless of what they show you, you don't like them, so you're not going to receive it? Hey, you're about to get hit by a train. Oh, Tucker, F you, Tucker. I don't want to hear from you. I'd rather get ran over by a train. Boom. You go up to heaven. Dang, I should have listened to Tucker. I miss my kids. I wish I didn't have so much hate in my heart for Tucker. I could have jumped away from the train. Like, what is it? This don't make no sense. And you can't really use computers because then you can have people tricky where you uh, mess with the computers. What have happened? What has happened to our brain now to where we're so tribalistic again? We're so no, don't matter the truth no more. I'm just over here. So I'm with these groups. That's how pedophilia is allowed. That's how all these stupid laws are being passed because you care more about the protection and the rights of your group than what's right and wrong. This man prayed and thanked the people who let him in the building. They allowed him to do it and now he's demonized and in prison. How does this happen? Doesn't make sense. Hey, the needed to these police officers to allow us into the building. Contrast the reality of what Jacob Chansley did in the Capitol building on January 6th, the indisputable facts recorded on video, some of which has never before been seen, with the depiction of Jacob Chansley that you've seen in the media for more than two years. He's a terrorist, they said. 
he should be killed. Shoot him. Yes. Shoot him. Like, if it, you burst into the United States, if he was dressed like bin Laden, would he have shot him? Shoot him. Wow. That guy probably be a Christian. Just shoot him. An unarmed man. So, so let's get this straight. Shoot him. The guy is wearing a hat. He has a bullhorn and he has a flag. It's nine or ten of you, and just shoot him because he walked into a public building. Shoot him. That's why I said I saw we get a long way to. We got a long. That's why I say we got a long way to go. Absolutely. We definitely got a long way to go. Kwame, did you hear about Sean Kemp? Yeah, I heard about Sean Kemp. I'm going to try to get around to that story. I thought this was more important. Sean Kemp doing something stupid uh, is less important than, uh, to me, what's going on in our politics and our polit politic world today. We got an election coming up, and it's going to be more stupidity. Uh, but, yeah, they just talking about shoot them. Uh, I just don't see, if you had nine, ten cops, you could subdue this guy. They did, Not only did they not shoot him, they didn't even think about shooting him. It was cops letting this guy walk by. So how can you, how are you so far off from what happened to what you're saying should have happened? I don't know. Shoot him. It makes you wonder who are the violent extremists here? Not Jacob Chansley. And the video proves that. But you would never have known from the media coverage. The people sitting in the chairs need to be sitting in a jail cell. Chansley is in a jail cell. He's been there for months. If he was in fact committing such a grave crime, why didn't the officers who were standing right next to him place him under arrest? Dang, it looked like that cop said, excuse me and let him by. Look at this. The cop looked like he gonna say, excuse me. Look at this. Why didn't the officers who were standing right next to him? Jesus. Man, I wish I could get treated this good and be, what the? Oh, man, that's crazy, man. If he was, in fact, committing such a grave crime, why didn't the officers who were standing right next to him place him under arrest? Until now, no one could even prove that even happened. But it did. Subscribe to the... I just think that's a shame. I just think that's a shame. Uh, that's a damn shame. <laughs> but anywho, uh, no, I didn't, I didn't uh, see what's going on with Sean Kemp. I know they can arrest a celebrity for anything. They're not used to a celebrity uh, protecting themselves. So I don't know what's going on with Sean Kemp. It doesn't sound right that a Sean Kemp would be involved in a drive-by shooting. Uh, it sounds like a drive-by shooting, but uh, the good thing is there's no victims, so you got to wait to hear Sean Kemp's side. If somebody put his life in danger, is he wrong for protecting himself? So we don't know. So I just, the report says drive-by shooting because it's going to get the headline new. Um, the craziest thing I heard was somebody said they should have shot him because he's white and they shot black people. They shot blacks. Yeah, it's getting too racist out here, man. This is crazy. Politicians are going to shut Tucker Carlson down. We are going to get from now on. Uh, 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 we are going to get from now on spoon fed. Yeah, Tucker Carlson is going to be shut down because, in my opinion, they don't want the truth out. This is what they're afraid of now is the fact that as soon as something happened, there's a media story that they got to deal with. So the one thing that they have to deal with is is the media. And they don't want to deal with it. That's why they try to control all media. Most of these people own media companies. And you can decipher who these people are on your own. But um, that's my time. I'm about to get up out of this thing. I appreciate you guys for joining the bus. I'm probably going to go over to Bus Life 2.0 here in a second. Or I may go run the beach. I don't know. It's getting nice out there. Let me see. Let me see. Yes, yes, it's getting nice out there, Jack. So I don't know. Uh, Y'all have a blessed day. Shout out to Carcino for life. One crack news. Hold on.
uh, people hate the truth, then they have to be held accountable. Yeah, they don't want to be held accountable because then the person that they like don't have to be held, held accountable. KB, check your DMs when you get a chance. Yeah, I seen this one. 31 year old school lunch lady. Dang, the lunch lady wasn't that fine when we was in school. Now, she ain't the best looking thing, but the lunch ladies that we had in school was about 300 pounds. I ain't gonna lie. They had mashed potatoes on their shirt and they had green bean stains all over themselves. So we ain't have lunch ladies that look like this lunch lady. I appreciate that, D Hart. I gotta get, I might do a video for that one. Uh, maybe not alive, just a video because it, it, at this point it's sad. You can find a female teacher that is sleeping with these teenage boys all across the United States, but it's not going to be put out there as much as little girls. You would think it's not even happening to boys, but it's happening. It happened at my school. It happens at every school. We all knew the teachers that were sleeping with the students. We just didn't say nothing. But hey, it was only one teacher, maybe two back then. And now it seems like it's these teachers are getting younger and younger and friskier and friskier. So, um, but you can't look at little boys as that a boy uh, because it's going to cause some long term uh, effects when you have sex too early. Uh, yeah, but hey, what do I know? But salute the Carcino for life. One crack news. Damn D P O V. Damn D live news. <laughs> Horny old horse. <laughs> Uh, one crack news, damn DPOV, ears to the streets, TV 2.0, uh, uh, the political kryptonite, Angela Stanton in the ag show. Um, who else? It's just Jim's, Jim's I view, Kwame Brown, greatest fans. Um, dang, who else? Hmm, I forgot. Ticket TV, uh, 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 uh who else? Miss Spitting Fire. And I think that's it. If I forgot you, I apologize. Oh, B is one on one, mom, boss, mayo, all of my moderators. Uh, salute anybody who super chatted. Um, go on. tonight. I'm gonna get messed up. So, yeah, I'm up out of this thing, y'all. Oh, I got my hair cut a little bit. I got a little trim. I got a little trim yesterday. Got a little trim. <laughs> How about? <laughs> 